free at last. A man released from prison after 50 years without trial in Jamaica. George Williams, the man who spent 50 years in prison without trial, was seen outside the St. Catherine Parish Court with his attorney, Isat Buchanan, after being freed on Wednesday. Charges against George Williams, the mentally ill man who spent 50 years in prison without a trial, have been dropped. The charges were dropped on Wednesday when Williams appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court. A member of his family has stated that, I am feeling so elated right now. After 50 years, he is finally freed. Williams, who is 71, was represented by attorney Isaac Buchanan, who was hired by human rights group Stand Up For Jamaica to seek his release. This is certainly what I like to call swift justice, so I am very happy, Buchanan said, adding, to know that all of this happened in seven days. This, this is what we want from our justice system. There are many of our brothers and sisters still in there, and we need to assist them like we did for George. George Williams, the mentally ill man, has languished in Jamaica's prison system without a trial for almost five decades. He had to be taken to the hospital last weekend after being mistreated by a younger inmate. According to his attorney, Isaac Buchanan, on Saturday, Williams suffered injuries to one of his eyes and his ribs during the mistreatment inside his cell at the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center. Williams was treated at the Spanish Town Hospital and returned to the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center, where he has been isolated in a different section. He is also awaiting the results of a CT scan. The executive director of Stand Up For Jamaica, the human rights lobby that hired Buchanan to seek Williams' release, believes the inmate would, have, would not have been in any danger if the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions did not oppose the emergency application filed in court last week seeking to free the elderly man. I am sorry for him because he has gone through so many tribulations said Goletta, even as she praised the Department of Correctional Services for its handling of the incident. The Indicom confirmed last Monday evening that it is aware of the reports of an incident and is making inquiries into the allegations. It is reported that the old man was in his cell when another inmate entered and mistreated him. The mistreatment comes days after Williams is scheduled to return to the St. Catherine Circuit Court for a hearing on whether he should be released. In 1970, Williams was arrested and charged for allegedly causing another man to lose his life during a violent attack on a family that was driving through a St. Catherine community of Mount Rossa. The then 20-year-old was declared unfit to plead. However, in his affidavit included in his emergency application to the St. Catherine Circuit Court, the 71-year-old charged that he had not received constant psychiatric treatment after his incarceration, but said several times, the last being February 22nd this year, he was declared fit to plead. Last Wednesday, he appeared in court for the first time in almost 50 years and was ordered to return the Wednesday. He is one of seven mentally ill persons identified in a report by Indicom who have e each spent at least 40 years in prison awaiting trial. Another mentally ill man, Noel Chamber, passed away on January 27 this year after spending 40 years in prison awaiting trial. Indicom revealed this in their first quarterly report to her. 71-year-old George Williams has stated one phrase, freedom time. This was all the gray-haired Williams could manage to say as he, will, as he emerged from the courthouse, flanked by his niece Pamela Green, brother Alvin Jones, and lawyer Isat Buchanan. He spent 50 years in custody without trial. 
Jones has stated that the first thing he wants to do for his elder sibling was to buy him a proper meal. We are going to take him to a popular restaurant and get him refreshed a little before taking him home. The nolle prosequi submission made by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions was expected as Williams had languished in the penal system for an extraordinary long time. Buchanan has said that once all the parameters for the release were met, including a positive social assessment of Williams' immediate family members, it would have been hard denying the eventual outcome. We are overwhelmed. Nobody can be as happy as George today because his day in court, this is what I call swift justice. Buchanan said he is now prepared to enter into discussions with the Attorney General on a process for compensation for Williams. In handling down the ruling, Justice Stephanie Jackson Hazley said it was an appropriate decision. We wish him well and that, the, that he reintegrates into his community and his family. And all I ask of you is to assist Mr. Williams in this reintegration process. Williams was facing one count of destruction of property, loss of life, and causing harm with intent, charges stemming from an incident in 1970. He was arrested and charged with the loss of life of a Canadian man during a terrible attack on the man's family while they drove through his hometown of Ivy District in St. Catherine. DPP Paula Llewellyn said that her office felt sympathetic toward the relevant parties in such drawn-out cases. It is for all stakeholders now to see how he can be put in place that he reintegrates with the Lovers' family and the supervision of the mental health authorities. Our decision to discontinue the case has to be very transparent, she said, adding that her office made contact with the Canadian High Commission in an effort to find out if there were relatives of the deceased who sought explanation about their decision. The DPP said that the time spent in incarceration meant that she was obligated to discontinue the case because he would have served more time than dictated by the sentencing guidelines. Williams's family has endured jitters when independent psychiatric consultant Jeffrey Walcott appeared to differ with the assessment of Dr. Maya Kahu, senior medical officer at Bellevue Hospital, on whether Williams was fit to plead. Walker told the court that Williams was fit to plead after admitting to just one evaluation session as against the more than 20 who had with the detainee. He said that Williams, who suffers from schizophrenia, has been on medication. I am certain that his mental facets have improved since 1917 when he was incarcerated in a psychotic state and he has shown significant improvement he does have some persistent psychotic symptoms but they do not interfere with his ability to either engage or understand what's going on thanks for watching the learning academy this has been a review of the released of a mentally ill man from prison who has languished in prison for 50 years. Leave your comments down below and feel free to subscribe if you have not already done so. Thanks for watching the Learning Academy.